There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Having like a really great day. This is going to be a fun video because this is a new collection by RPG Show, their lifestyle collection. This is where you can change your hair instantly without having to do too much work, girl. Headband wigs that are also in the lifestyle collection. The lifestyle collection is supposed to make everything simple and easy. It doesn't have to be for beginners, this is for everybody. But who don't like their wig application, their wig process, their wig wearing, their wig game, their wig collection to be easy, lifestyle adjustable, okay? I like a good wig where I can wear a lot of different things. And if you want to add some things to it, then you can do so. So with this one right here, I'm going to jump right into it. And I'm going to show you how it comes and what this wig is all about. And we're going to just get into this because you know RPG Show always got the good wig. When you receive your unit from RPG Show, it will come in their new box, which says the lifestyle. You'll also receive a two-piece wig cap, which you can wear to protect your hair. RPG Show will also provide you with one of their new lifestyle bags which says Be Beautiful. And for an additional cost you can also purchase some of their clip-in extensions to add to your unit. This is their lifestyle collection and if you use the code Halloween you can get two clip-ins clip sets for free. The unit that I received is a 14 inch blunt cut yakky straight bob lace front. The color is in its natural state, but as you can tell, there are some clip-ins added to this unit, which is the Sparkling Amber. The first set of clip-ins were plum-colored ones, and these are easy to attach to any hair. The Lifestyle Collection does consist of their headband wigs, along with their U-part wigs, and extension clip-ins, which you can easily change your style, whether you're going on vacation, on the run, at work, or just want a change of style. You can easily do that in seconds without any type of hard work, hair dyeing, or styling. The lace on this unit is the tinted transparent Swiss lace, which is easy meltable and will blend in any skin tone. And the unit does come bleached and slightly pre-plucked. So once you receive it, you can definitely put it on and go. If you're one of those who love to change your units up without any type of hassle or hard work, you will definitely want to check out RPG Show's Lifestyle Collection. They have different clip-in colors to choose from along with different style units as well. And make sure you use the code HALLOWEEN so that you can receive two sets of free clippings to add to your unit for free. I'll leave all the information below as they have many different units to choose from. Okay guys, so let's get ready to put this wig on. As you guys can tell, the lace is so meltable. You really don't need to put any type of baby hairs with this unit as their lace is tinted, Swiss transparent lace. And that's excellent for, especially for those who are new wig wearers. You don't have to do too much. So the first thing I would suggest is making sure that you have hair tools just to push away the hair when cutting off this meltable lace. As you can tell, I'm very satisfied with it and I'm pretty sure that I won't need too many baby hairs. This is a thumbs up from me. So I'm gonna be using some of my small pair of scissors. These are curved and I'm just going to be cutting in a jagged motion, not straight across, but kind of like in dips and curves, just so that way the lace isn't blunt across the hairline. And to make the wig fit properly, because there was a little bit of lace over my ear, I'm going to use my rat tail comb to part that, that lace and then cut away the excess. This is not going to destroy or ruin your wig, but it will also allow your wig to sit flush to your hairline and a comfortable fit, which will make it more realistic to the eye. And I'm going to also repeat that same step on the opposite side, making sure that my wig fits properly by parting and trimming away the excess lace. 
Now for me, I do prefer some type of sideburn hairs and it's a force of habit for me to always make baby hairs. I'm not saying that I'm going to use them, but it's just a force of habit. You know, when you do something more than once, it becomes repetitive. So this is definitely a force of habit. I'm just going to cut some of these hairs or flyaways or wispies and sideburns just to the length that I desire. Now I did decide to use my got to be and spray some of that on my toothbrush just to style the sideburns and the wispies. But the hairspray was drying really quick and it is some really good hairspray. So I then decided to just use my Salon Selective Hair Styling Mousse, which is available at the Dollar Tree to sculpt any type of hairs or flyaways that I needed just to make the wig look just as natural as possible. But from the looks of things, you really don't need this. And to touch up my makeup, I'm just going to be just adding a little few more, you know, touches of that. This has nothing to do with the wig, it just has to do with, I did remove some of my makeup off the hairline prior to this video, so that way the wig would sit properly. This wig came out beautiful, the blunt cup on it is absolutely amazing, and the density and volume of this is just great. It's beautiful without any type of hair extensions or colors. This wig is nice the way it is. I like it because it's very flowy. I just bluntly flat ironed it when after I washed it because I did pre-pluck it a little bit. But you see, I didn't even glue it down. It's too, you know, you don't have to do that with RPG show. You could just throw it on. The only little pieces I wanted to hunker down was my sideburn hair. It does come with some extra hairs, like I was saying to you guys. Ooh, I am so hot. Are the lifestyle clips. You know, you can put this as you want. And I do have two sets. I have the blonde set, and then I have this purple color set. Girl, you look, you can mix and match, or you can just do one color. This is what the purple looks like, and of course, I'm going to have to flat iron it. I just love this color a lot. It's very uniform, you know, it kind of goes with everything. But if you like a touch of color, some splash in your life, you could definitely do the purple. But we're going to do both. I think it does come with the clip, so it can easily fasten and secure, girl. So I want my little baby hairs, my little um, sideburn hairs to come up, so I'm going to just stick that there. So the first thing that I'm going to do prior to applying these extension clippings is I'm just going to part the hair where I want to place them. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that the extensions are a certain length and depending on where you place them in your unit, it may affect the length of the extensions. Meaning if you place them down a little bit too low, the extension clippings may appear longer and you may need to clip cut them. So you just want to place them in the right spot if you do not wish to cut the clippings. Because as you guys know, once you cut them, well, they're not going back. So I'm just going to try to clip them in as far up as possible. So that way I don't need to cut them and you don't see any jagged blunt edges. This was really super easy to do. You just want to brush the hair over and make sure that the clippings are hidden. And it does add a, def a definite splash of color to the unit without any type of dyeing, highlighting, or hard work. What mood you in that day? You might want to put it all on one side. You might want to put it all on opposite. Or you might just want to wear two at a time. Like, you know, I'm not really sure how it's going to look, but we're going to try it out, girl. We're going to see how it do. You know, it probably look really cute. So let's just give this a try. And I do want to try out these amber ones. So I'm just going to apply the same technique on the side. And you do remember, guys, that I said that if you place the extensions in a certain spot they will hang lower or longer than the actual unit and you will need to cut those if you decide to keep them in that position and wear them and as you can tell from the video 
they are a little bit longer than the actual wig so i will be removing the purple ones on the opposite side so that way i can put in the amber colored ones i really didn't want to cut these as you know they're new and i just wanted to try them out and place them in different spots you can definitely change your look up with these hairstyle extensions by placing them in different positions and you can also wear two colors at a time if you choose to but you will need to make sure that the lengths are meeting one another if you don't prefer a choppy look as you guys see right here. Alright guys, so depending on where you place these clips, you will have to do some adjusting to them. If you clip them lower, it is going to make the clips a lot more noticeable as in lengthwise. Certain parts, it is a little bit choppy. I really want to find like the best spot where these can go without any type of customization, like any type of, you know, cutting it or anything like that. You can definitely take it up a notch with the lifestyle units. This wig looks amazing without any color in it. The hairline on this unit is bomb as hell. I'm glad I didn't have to do anything like, you know, glue it or anything like that. Baby hairs, I appreciate when it's like a good lace and you don't have to really do too much to it and you are easily to just put it on. The fit is perfect. The, the lace just like melts in your own hair, your hairline to where you can't even see it like this one I'm talking about. So you guys, I will leave all of the information down below. And on that note, I got to go. Of course, I got one more video to do and then I'm out. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Stay deep and delicious and I'll see y'all on the next one. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.